the raise hand feature. When you have a question, keep your line muted unless you're asking a question. First set of questions is Bob McManaman, Josh Weinfuss, Darren Murphy. James, congratulations, man. Welcome to the Valley. Um, question is uh, really just uh, why here, why now, and why just a one-year deal? Is that good enough for you? Yes, um, I just felt right place, right time. Uh, you know, opportunity to, to come here and uh, just contribute to something that's, that's, that I believe is, is on the rise and, and is going great. Just the opportunity to come learn from these veterans that are, that are here. And I just feel like the opportunity, uh, you know, just let go during free agency. Uh, this is God's plan for me. Hey, James, Josh Wine for the ESPN. Um, after spending so much time in Pittsburgh, what was it like, and going through everything you went through there, what was it like to, what's it like to leave and, and, and play somewhere else? Oh, man, it's, um, I, I, feel, I feel brand new. You know, I'm excited for this opportunity. It's, it's definitely a change of scenery for me. You know, I've been in Pittsburgh eight years, and so I just felt, you know, I was just learning so many lessons, and this was all, that time in Pittsburgh was just prepping me for, for where I'm at right now in my life uh, and this journey. It brought me out here to AZ, and uh, I feel like I was well-equipped, you know, just everything I've been through and continue to go through on this journey and leads me to here. So, man, I'm excited to be in this red. I'm excited. I'm truly excited, and, and it's a blessing. Hey, James. Darren Irvin from ACCardinals.com. Um, obviously, you, you've been banged up a couple of times, but also in your life you've dealt with much – bigger issues than maybe a couple injuries. I'm just wondering mentally, how do you deal with the injuries at, at this point, knowing that you're, you're playing a tough game? How do you kind of get past that? And what do you say to people that kind of wonder about that? Um, you know, uh, I understand that uh, it, it comes with it and it's part of the game, but the only thing I can do is to continue to, to prep myself and be ready and attack attack the problems as they come. Um, they're not even problems, they're, they're lessons. and. Like I said, it's just part of the journey. So been through things before, uh, going to go, gonna go through things in the future. And so, you know, only thing I can do is continue to get my body ready, which I do year in and year out. And so, you know, it's, it's, they're all challenges and I look forward to challenges. Next up, Mike, Mark, Bob. James, Mike Turecki, AZ Cardinals. Talk about you being with James Sexton back in 2018, where you made the Pro Bowl close to a thousand yards. Just having the familiarity, maybe a different offense. What are your thoughts and your relationship with him? Yeah, it was awesome to to link back up with Coach Sachs. and uh, you know he's always more than a coach to me. He was always just you know about a person and just really you know talked about what he expected and putting it up all up front. And you know with him, uh, we had we had history together, and they already have a great running back room here. And I'm just looking to add to it and, and help out where I can. Hey, James, Mark McLoon, 3TV, CBS 5. Welcome to town. Hey, you mentioned um, this team being on the rise, and I'm wondering specifically about the offense. What do you feel like this offense could look like if clicking on all cylinders? I, mean, I just think I just think explosive. I mean, just the weapons that, that, uh, that we have and, you know, just, just everything. Uh, you know, with Hop, obviously, and, and Kyler, Chase doing his thing already, and so you know, watching film, I'm like, man, this dude, he can, he can ball, and I want to, you know, learn from him, be a part of it, and just get to work with him, with Chase, and so, um, I just think, you know, ain't no telling, I can't predict nothing, but I know what I can guarantee is I'm gonna come in here and work day in and day out, put my head down and grind, and and uh, you know, I'm in it for the long haul. So, 17 game season, I'm I'm looking forward to it. I was wondering if we could go back to the uh, Western Pennsylvania thing. I mean, it's got to be kind of a not really culture shock. I mean, you you played everywhere, but you lived in that same spot your whole life. And what kind of things are you looking forward to out in the bright sun out here? Uh, you said it, the sun. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, like, but no, I, you know, Pittsburgh. My time there was great. You know, through through the university and 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 you know, Steelers and. Um, it's not a culture shock, you know. Like I said, I feel like my, that time there has been prepping me for this, and now I get to come out here. Um, just my vibe, you know. I love the sun and just being out here, um, and love traveling. And so, the opportunity to come out here and live in AZ, and like I said, learn football comes first, though, you know. For me, and for me to to come here and learn from these veterans that they already have, it's uh, the opportunity is there. Yeah, I'm looking forward. To, I'm looking forward to it all. Next up, Josh, Alex, Darren. 
Hey, James, kind of off that question, from a personal standpoint, was there any desire to just move away from the area that you grew up in? I mean, the area's two hours from Pittsburgh, you're there for so long. Was there any desire just to go somewhere new, just on that alone? Um, <clears throat> yeah, you know, it's like, uh, I'm looking forward to the change. And so, no, not really a desire to leave, but I feel, you know, you know, certain people talk about being in their hometown and, and I just feel like there's an opportunity for me to grow, uh, for me to, to be out here, to meet new people, to, you know, see this side of the world and, you know, just it, it's, it's something new. And so I, I was looking forward to that and I feel like I can continue to grow, you know, and, uh, and the opportunity is here, meet these people and it's just there. Hey James, Alex Weiner with SI.com. Welcome to the Valley. I'm just curious in watching Chase's tape, what part of his game and your game do you think will complement each other in the backfield this year? Um, a little bit of everything. I think I think I think Chase can do it all, and I, and, I, and I believe I can do it all. So um, just balancing, going back to each other. I was he his decision making, his speed. Um, you know, he runs hard too. He got that dog mentality, just like I got. So we just going we we just gonna roll. James, when you're when you're looking at uh, coming here, did they talk to you about a role, um, or is it more of a vague, "Hey, we, we want you to just be part of this mix"? Or did they did they get specific about how they could use you and Chase together? No, we didn't even get uh, specific. Like I said, the only thing I can guarantee, and my role is here, is going to be come here and play hard. That's going to be my role, um, and just lead by actions, and that's all I can do. So. Um, it'll that all that all that stuff will take care of itself. You know, I'm just looking forward to getting here to meet my new teammates, uh, meet my coaches, learning the offense, and it is going from there. We got to take it one game at a time, one play at a time. Um, and first things first is we got to work. All right, we're wrapping up with the last three: Richard, Bob, Catrick. Uh, James, uh, welcome to the Valley. Uh, Richard Signs, Fox Ten. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, we're kind of a two-parter here. When you see this. Um, offense, how do you feel you fit in the offense? And also, how, how nice is it just to get the business side of things and, and get the contract stuff out, out of the way and be able to just focus on football? Yeah, it's nice to get that uh, stuff out the way. And so now, you know, got a home and um, feel accepted, you know, feel like um, you know, they believed in me, you know, just like I believe in them. So nice that that stuff is out the way. And now we just come in, and like I said, just time to go to work. Uh, learn this offense and uh, just come in, be be all in. You know, I'm committed. I'm here, so I'm excited. James, tell us about the toe. Uh, where where were you, and what were you riding when you when you kind of got hurt? <laughs> um, I was in a little ATV, and you know, just just a little accident happened, and my you know I had a little toe issue. Um, thankfully, it was you know not not as serious as you know, a whole turf toe uh, injury. So um, just had to get it uh, addressed, had to get it fixed, and I'm healing up well, healing up very nice. And so, you know, just a little accident, but uh, that's just it's part of the journey is, uh, you know, it, it led me here and uh, I'm just ready to roll. Hey, James, um, how well do you know Chase? Do you all have any overlap from Pennsylvania or anything like that? No, I know he's from, uh, from PA. Uh, and so we, we we got that in common, but I haven't met him or or not. But um, you know, I feel like I'm easy going, and I, I'm a, I'm gonna come to work. You know, I heard he works hard, so you know we'll hit it off. All right, thanks a lot, James. Appreciate your time, and thanks Thank to you. all of you. Thanks, James. Thanks, James. Thank you.